use the sludge. Well, there it is, there it is. <laughs> What's up, fellow earthlings, and welcome back to the channel, Austin Hustler Hires. Woo! It's a hot one out here today. I am out here at Daytona Beach. Me and my boys today are going to be taking down some giant air ducts at the bottom of this hotel right here. Basically these air ducts are big enough to, um, I mean almost walk in if you're a midget. <laughs> but basically they're big enough to crawl through. Uh, really big job here. We're going to be charging uh, about six to seven thousand dollars to get this done. It's going to take us a few days to get it done. Right now me, Richard, and Brandon are here. I would have Isaac here, but he uh, actually quit last minute this weekend, so kind of screwed us a little bit, but I wish you best of luck, Isaac. Let's go ahead and check out the air ducts that we're going to get removed today. We only have one dumpster to work with, so basically once we get a system going today, we'll have two guys taking everything apart. Before we get started, guys, as always, hit that like button for me down below. I want to get this video over 100 likes within the first 300 views. spotlight and it looks like we're gonna have to cut the first piece off to drop it down and then we should be able to get it out section by section after that. We gotta put these masks on because it is a whole lot of dust coming out while we're cutting this. Okay we got the first piece down and we got it to go flat so we'll be able to cut them down, flatten them out and put a whole bunch of these in the dumpster at a time. Woo! We got a lot of work to do guys so we're gonna get back to work. Oh no, Richard! Richard, are you under there? Hold oh, on! No. Just kidding guys, Richard's not under there. <laughs> He's right there. Well, we got this whole thing knocked down on one side. We just have to take these brackets down. Uh, I don't know if you can see them right there. There's brackets holding it up on that side still. Um, and after that happens, we just kind of cut it into pieces, flatten it out, and haul it out to the truck. As well as this section in here. Take all this down and haul it out to the truck. This is one big job guys, so make sure you hit that like button for us because... You know, we're working hard making these videos at the same time as taking these things down. We deserve at least a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. So we're gonna walk over to the beach since it's right over here. We're outside getting some fresh air because there's probably a hundred years worth of dead skin floating around in that room we were in just now because you know it's an air duct system and whew, a water Ugh, yeah that one-handed catch i didn't used to play football or anything <laughs> uh i played football for a little bit in high school but they kicked me out because i had bad grades it's one thing i hated about high school you'd had to have a 2.0 average and i had like a d average you know but oh well there's one thing I learned in life, all the D students are the ones that start business and all the A students are all the ones that work for the people that were D students. That's one thing I learned, so I'm proud to be a D student. How about you guys? Comment down below if you were a D student and you now own a business where you're hiring A students. Let's go, uh, let's go check out the beach real quick. Beach day, beach day, beach day, beach day. I got old people dust all over my hand, guys. Look at a freaking vampire. Look at this, though. That beach. All right, Richard's going to take a shower because uh, because he needs one. Get your whole head. <laughs> Just Look at this Tesla. Is it running? Yeah. The Tesla's running, guys. I can actually hear something going on in the Tesla. I don't know what's, what's happening, but man, they fucked their room up. Dang. I can do that with my viewing. All right, we're going back to the hotel, guys, which is located right here, conveniently, next to the beach. We gotta go jump a wall and get back to work. All right, so we got two more pieces here. Taken down, flattened out. Just got done with this whole area here. There was a whole AC duct hanging there. We got this one knocked down, and now we just got to get this whole section knocked down, and we'll be done with this side of the building. If we could get it done in one whole day, 
that would be a great accomplishment. Make sure to hit that like button for this video, guys. I appreciate all of you. We'll talk to you soon. That's like a hundred years of old people's dead skin. If you can get that up that hill, I'll give you a high five. Well, Check out though, huh? High five. <laughs> I think Brandon's going to find his cell phone right now. And I've got it right here. <laughs> How long do you think he's gonna look for it? Probably can't find it uh, I'm gonna hold on to it as long as I can. So we're gonna get out of here for the day. They got a dumpster pickup to go do, and then uh, I'm gonna go scrap this metal that we got in our dumpster right now, and I'm gonna go to the rage room, probably run home, take a quick shower, and then go to the rage room. Brandon, did you lose something today? Your dignity? I don't know. Did you lose something? Check your pockets. Probably. I think. Oh. What happened? Uh, Your phone's gone? Why are, you, why are you talking to me like that? Because you literally just told me you're missing your phone, so you're like... But you asked I, me, which means you have something to do about it. Oh. Do with it. Oh, okay. Well, I was waiting for you to notice, but I've had it in my back pocket for like the last 40 minutes. Really? I found it outside in the sun, and I figured I'd save it, but I got paint all over it, sorry. <laughs> it's in my back pocket. You gave me a brand new white case? <laughs> yeah, bro, but I had it in my back pocket. I was just like, I was bending over in front of you and shit, waiting for you to notice, <laughs> and like, it didn't work, so I just gave it back to you. I only would've noticed when I needed it. Yeah, I dude, I could've sworn you would've looked for it at least by now. Yeah. In 40 minutes, bro, you believe that, Richard? He didn't look for his phone in 40 minutes, bro. That's because it actually doesn't
He was actually doing some shit. All right, cool. Well, we're gonna pack it up, get our tools all back in the truck, sweep up this rust we left, a trail of rust <laughs> throughout this place, and we're gonna get out of here. All right, I don't know if you can hear me right now over all this loud noise, but we have like two more sheets of metal to cut, and that's all the space we got in the dumpster. We're gonna get out of here for the day because we have a dumpster to pick up, and uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit the like button because uh, we deserve it. All right guys, here at the scrap yard, recording on my phone because I didn't want to whip my camera out. Gotta make sure this tarp's not gonna catch on the back end. We'll get the tarp up and we'll get this scrap metal dumped out. I'll let you guys know how much we make. All right, so check it out guys. $141.50 for that scrap metal. Ended up weighing uh, 1,800 pounds, so 1,860 pounds at $7.60 uh, per 100 pounds. What's up guys? It is day four working on the air ducts in this hotel, and this room is the last room we have to tear the air ducts down from. So as you can see, we have to go from this side of the room to that side of the room and we have to get these cross sections cut down as well. So there's straps right here that go all the way up to the ceiling. And basically what the plan is guys, I'm gonna be on this side first and I'm gonna cut all the straps off the ceiling on this side and that's gonna cause the whole thing to kind of lean this way. Um, but why I'm doing that is first is so that I don't have to, like if I cut this side first and then I cut the other side, I'm gonna be stuck in that little small area back there as it falls to the ground. So I wanna be out here where I can kinda of run um, as it falls to the ground. It should have enough weight in itself just to drop to the ground. And after it drops to the ground, we'll get it cut up, flattened out, and then start loading it into the container. I have a new guy working with me today. His name is Joe and uh, He's here to replace Isaac. Everybody in my town is hiring for, from Walmart to Lowe's to the tire place, the gas station. Nobody wants to work. So the people that do want to work have several, several options. Uh, hopefully I can win him over and he can work for me because he seems like a really cool dude. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you this really quick. You see this generator right here? This was our first job in this building. This is what we won this customer over with. We removed the old generator. They disconnected and everything, but we had a forklift come and remove this generator. And basically from that point on, they've hired us for every job. And this is the new generator they replaced it with. So that runs the whole hotel. It's pretty sweet. All right guys, check it out. We just cut all the straps. You can see it's really dusty in here, so we're gonna not hang out in here for a minute. But as soon as we cut that last strap on that far corner, the whole thing came tumbling down. I had to jump off like the fourth step on the ladder and throw this all. But uh, yeah, we got her down. So now all we gotta do is get it up, cut up in pieces, flatten it out, and haul it away. Moving pretty quickly here. Brandon should be here any minute now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the Freightliner started up. Like I said, my wife is taking the GMC to do a couple pickups for us, or a pickup and a drop off and uh, me and Brandon are gonna be in the Freightliner today. So, like I said, I will update you when we get there on this air duct job. Hopefully we can get it finished up today and get a paycheck in our pockets. Yo, yo, check it out guys. We just went into Ace Hardware, grabbed some Sawzall blades, you know, we got them good old Milwaukee Sawzall blades. Got 10 of them and we'll probably break them all. And I got me some breakfast, some cheese curls, and a good old Snickers bar. About to head down there to the hotel and get started. Let's go. Coo Coo Kachu guys are here at the job. Here is the remainder of the job. Actually, we have one little piece on the other side of this wall we have to get off, but that's really nothing. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is focus on just chopping all of this up, flattening it down, and putting it in a pile. All right, the pile's only getting bigger and bigger, guys. Got a dust storm in here right now. 
got this whole part cut up, hauled out. We're gonna cut that part up next, and then that part. All right, getting in the truck, we're on our way to the rage room, guys. Actually, we're on the way to the office to drop off the dumpster, and then pick up a dumpster into land, dump it, and then to the rage room. So we allowed ourselves two hours to do that. What's up, guys? So today is the last day. We're here finishing up the hotel air duct job and I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the rooms and show you the finished product. So over here, we actually have a scrap metal guy taking the remaining of the scrap metal and he's also scooping up all the rust piles everywhere. So I'm gonna walk you through that room real quick and then we'll go check out the other two rooms. So this is the room here. Got that room completely done. Tore out the drywall and the, and the air ducts. And here, he just wanted us to slice off this air duct right here and leave as is. They're gonna put a little panel there um, because all these air ducts in here are still in use. Let's walk over to the other side of the building and check out the finished product of those two rooms. All right, so I'm walking over to the other side of the building. As you can see, all this stuff here in the middle of their parking lot, this is the stuff that they're gonna be storing in the rooms that we just removed the air ducts from. Uh, that way they don't have to store it in the middle of the parking lot. So that was actually the purpose of us getting these air ducts out so they can have storage rooms. They are right back here. Let's take a look. We had air ducts hanging above there. All those are gone. We swept the rust up into a pile so that the, uh, the scrap metal guy can basically just scoop up the rust with a shovel. Same thing in here. We just did a quick sweep and swept everything into piles. But right above me, that's where all of the air ducts were. And from, from that side of the room to this side of the room, completely knocked down and taken care of. Whew, still really dusty in there from me sweeping. So I'm gonna get this done really quickly. Let's go take a look at the other room, show you the finished product of that one. And that's it, we're done. We are done with this job, $6,000 later. And here is the room where we started. From this side of the room to that side of the room, air ducts completely gone. Swept everything into piles for him and we're out of here. Turn this light off. This is a net 30 contract that we have with this hotel, so we should be receiving the check within 30 days, um, if not sooner. And then on top of that, right here in front of me, there's another pile that we have to remove. So they'll probably call us in about a week after that becomes a full load. So this job gives us consistent business, which is why we take care of them so well. But that's the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed watching this video and you love the content on this channel, go ahead and hit that like button for me down below. Minimize the screen, hit the like button, and you can even go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit that notifications bell so you know every time I put up a new video and you're gonna love every single one I put up guys. I give information, I am very entertaining, and it's just awesome to watch these jobs that we get so you can either learn or just sit on your couch and enjoy. I love you all. This is Austin Hustle Hires with Epic Hustle Ethics. We'll catch you next time.